everyone so how are you all doing i have i hope everyone is doing well so today's look is about the neutral cat eye look this is a very sultry sexy type of everyday look you can wear it in the morning and the night and you uh, i have incorporated uh, uh, the golds and the warm browns in this look so because uh, gold is the color of the season and everybody is wearing gold in their outfits in their uh, in, in in any part of their you know uh, lifestyle you know in the outfits or in the attires or in the shoes the gold is really in so i thought of creating a look which is also neutral and you can uh, which has a longevity you can wear it from the day to the night so if you want to know what is this all about then you can keep on watching and yeah i want to give you a disclaimer that this uh, look is basically for both fair skin medium skin and dark skin yeah uh, for the intensity you can just build up the golds if you're too dark but for the uh, fair to medium skin the uh, the colors which i have used in the in the quantity i have used they are more than enough so if you want to uh, know what is this about then keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe like and comment on the video and do tell me if you want any other the type of uh, type of looks okay bye Hey guys, I have concealed my eyes with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and set it with the powder. I have also applied some of the powder on the outer corner of my eyes so that there would be no fallouts. I'm using this NYX Dropout palette. You will find it in the description box. And now I'm patting the champagne color from the from the palette obviously onto the inner corner of my eye going up to the middle of the eye but i'm i'm also taking it to the outer corner but i'm trying hard that it should not go to the outer this is a shimmer sh uh, it, it just had a little bit of shimmer so you don't want it to go to the crease area or uh, to the outer corner of the of your eyes because that way it will reflect light onto the uh, on the eyes and these are not the areas where you want your light to be reflected you want the hint of the light on the middle portion of your eye so now i'm going to take a large fluffy brush i'm using this i don't know i got this brush from amazon um, but you can use any uh, blending brush and i'm going to take this color i'm going to use this color as my transition color i'm going to blend this transition color onto my crease area very well remember guys the bluff uh, the blending of a uh, transition color is really important and now i'm i'm going to buff this color onto my crease area using back and forth motion and really circular motions on the outside of the area now i'm using just the back and forth motion because i just want first the gradient effect the first color to be on the crease to blend it very well <laughs> I don't know if it makes sense. You need to stay really high on the crease with the transition color. You don't need to come low with the transition color. So you you just remember to stay up on the on the crease, but you don't have to hit the brow bone also at the same time. Now I'm going to take this another brush. I'm going to uh, spread this transition color. Uh, you just need a clean brush so that you can finish the color finish the look or finish the color with this if it makes sense now i'm going to take these two colors from the same palette and i'm going to mix them both and i'm going to blend them um, i'm i'm going to blend them little bit lower to the crease area blending uh, really back and forth and the circular motion on the eye is really important as i as i've told you earlier because blending is the key in any eyeshadow application so the blending should game should be really up now i'm going to take another uh, brush uh, which i used for the transition color so that there would be no harsh lines i'm going to go going back with the color brush which i used for the color intensity on the a little lower because my translucent pow uh, powder went off so i'm going to take some of it and apply it again you can do it again and again and you 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 have to set your eyeshadow with the right amount of the shade now i'm going to obviously i'm going to blend it again and again it's all about the blending now guys i'm just doing the same thing which i have done on the other eye and guys if you don't see me doing this the other eye simultaneously then consider it a edited video because i am doing both the eyes simultaneously but some because the video is was going too long so i have to edit some of the portion now i'm uh, taking a clean brush and blend everything out so that we have a nice uh, finish and a nice blend of the colors 
now uh, I, I always say that going back with the initial wish is a great idea because this way you will keep all your blending game up and have that gradient effect now i'm again gonna grab my eyeshade brush and pick up the gold color from the palette this is a very vibrant color so i thought of just doing it to with the champagne color also and it was because the champagne was not popping up so ju i just picked up a little bit of gold color you can pick any of the gold color now i'm confused which color i have to take for the more effect because i'm not getting the intensity on the outer edge of my eye because my i have a good i have good under under eye dark eye circles so it's not it was not popping up the brown color so again i'm gonna go with this laura mercy powder this powder is a bay you have to buy buy it you have to have to have it man because this way you have no fallouts now i'm going with this these two colors simultaneously from the same palette and i'll concentrate that i put these colors on the outer corner of my eyes because why why because we are not using black hair so i'm gonna take this uh, another brush obviously which um, the initial brush which i use for the transition color and finish this, this all you're hearing this for the whole video that you have to start now i'm gonna take a big fluffy brush and take off the translucent powder and you can see that we really have that sexy cat eye look to work on we, you you just have to buff the powder in the concentrated area on the in the under eye area or on the t-zone wherever it is required now what i'm gonna take and take a, a big brush to blend all the colors as always so that we have a nice mixed a mix of a shade now i'm going to take the brush this brush and mix two shades together for the highlighting no these are not the shades i'm saying i'm saying another shades <laughs> that, that was wrong i'm so sorry for that the this is the sh uh, these are the two shades which i'm going to take now i'm going to take this shade shade to highlight my brow bone and i'm going to use uh, the matte eye sh shadows for highlighting not the shimmer ones because shimmer are not for the crease area. above the crease area or the crease area they're just for the movable eyelid not on the crease not on the brow bone rule number one or two maybe whatever so now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna uh, i'm going to take this uh, highlight and put it below the brow bone not going too low not going not staying too up just define the brow bone from the inner to the outer now what i'm gonna do i'm going to take these two shades and now i'm gonna mix these two shades which is a which is a plum shade and a brownish shade and now i'm gonna apply this shade close to my lash line uh, we just don't want to look blown out so i'm gonna try these or blend these colors on the lower lash line so that we don't have any harsh lines you will have to blend really well now i'm going to use this color from the outer to the inner or this is this is re really your call you want to try it from the inner to the outer or the outer just blend it very well so that you have a smooth blended look from the upper eye to the lower eye I we just want it to look connected now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take this lacme 925 eyeliner which has the right amount of black and i like this eyeliner guys this has such a good intensity of black and i'm gonna line my eyes with this eyeliner you have to be really careful because you don't want to spoil the look at this time just go in increments take it in increments and it will be done in the end just start from the inner portion of the eye and just go slowly and slowly to the outer side of the eye or the outer corner of the eye so i'll i'll try to create now the wing do tell me if you want me to show you the wing eyeliner look because if i'm gonna do it like this way it's gonna take another 15 minutes and i'm not gonna do it uh, even then you have to be really elaborate doing and careful doing a wing eyeliner do tell me if you guys want me to do that just just tell me in the com comment section and now i'm just going to shape my eye well and i'm gonna do my other eye i think real quickly i don't think so i'm i'm done with the first eye but this is now i'm gonna go 
for the wing because winging the character is really hard so now i'm taking the wing up so that we we will feel really blended hair uh, blended hair no that was a wrong sentence now forget it so now i'm going to to, uh, to do it on the other eye and here we have now I'm just making sure that both the wings lies on one line and they look similar yeah they look similar now I'm gonna take for my lashes the L'Oreal's mascara in black is black I don't know you will find it in the description box and it is the best mascara ever people say maybelline's mascara are good some mas I, I heard many beauty bloggers raving about that mascara but guys give it a hit and you will find that it's a very really good mascara it has a primer portion and it has a mascara portion primer really help to hold the mascara and this is the bomb mascara in this world and i really mean it you you can buy it and see it i really mean it my friend is giving me look oh my god is it so so now what i'm gonna do i'm i'm gonna coat the i have coated the, the lashes and now i'm gonna take this white kohal from the same brand the lacme and i'm gonna apply this white pencil to the inner corner of my eye to highlight the eyes because i was feeling the color of the eye shadows were dull because they were brown so the, in the indian skin they don't exaggerate much the uh, the color was not popping up so i was i thought of giving eye eye coal or white eye coal uh, uh, white eye coal a hit and i'm now applying it on the inner in a lash line yeah in, on the lower lash line sorry and for the intensity of color i'm i'm going again on the inner corner of the eye and now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just look that my my wing are good our uh, wings are good or not i'm gonna take a lipstick i'm not finding my lipstick i kept it here or there i don't know where but i'll find it soon yes i have found it now i'm taking this uh, color, lip color from maybelline i have I'm in really love with this Madly Magenta shade. I don't know the shades. Again, you'll find it in the description box. And this shade is a really, really beautiful color. It will take my look from simple to edgy. And now, okay, bye. <laughs>